Hello beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to teach you the lazy girl method using polygel. Today's feature comment is by Francina from South Africa. Thank you so much for your love and support. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is prep your nails and if you feel comfortable, I also recommend that you remove all the dead cuticle for a cleaner finish. And so that the product adheres to the natural nail, we are also going to apply primer. The second step is to apply a base coat to all of your nails and cure it for about 30 seconds under the lamp. For today's video, I am going to be using one of my favorite polygel kits from the company Double Dip. I have already used it in several of my polygel videos and I'm sure you guys have seen it. I'm going to share all the information plus a discount code in the description box, so just in case you guys want to check it out. After having adjusted the extensions to the size of our natural nails and removing the shine from the bottom of the extensions, for the application, we are going to need the slip solution, we're also going to need the brush and the spatula, and of course the polygel. I chose the color number 2 from the kit, which is a gorgeous kind of translucent white that I think it's perfect for this winter time. We're going to mold the product well on the bottom part of the extension using the brush and the solution, leaving it thin by the cuticle area, thicker in the middle to create the apex, and medium thick at the tip so the nails don't break. We're going to place the extension from the cuticle area and then we are going to cure them individually to seal the product. For this technique, we don't have to remove the extensions like we do with dual forms. They actually stick to the product, which saves us time when shaping and filing. Um, I mean, you guys know that I'm always looking out for techniques that save you time and also money because we don't waste so much product like we usually do with other methods. Okay, and as you guys can see, we're repeating the same process until all of the nails are finished. So I actually applied more product than I should have here and it kind of started bleeding on the cuticle area. If that happens to you, don't worry about it because you can always use your brush and solution to fix the problem before curing. Once we have cured all the nails and after having cleaned them with 99% alcohol, we're going to cut them to the desired length and we're also going to give them the shape and remove the excess, which is minimal just in the cuticle area and a little bit underneath some of the nails. After filing, we are going to apply a layer of gel top coat and we're going to cure it under the lamp. By the way guys, don't forget to let me know your name and where you follow me from and drop your flag right next to your comments so I can see it and say hello in upcoming videos. I also want to take the time to say thank you so much to my beautiful people from Germany who follow me and support me. I love you guys so much and I am forever grateful to you guys. So, since we are in winter time, I had to add snowflakes, I mean, I just love them, and this is my favorite time of the year, so we are going to use white gel paint and a long thin brush to draw a cross and then an X on top of the cross. We wanted the second snowflake to look like it's hanging, so for this we're going to first draw a long vertical line from the cuticle area, and then we're going to cross it with a small horizontal line and with an X. Using a shorter thin brush, we are going to draw three tiny diagonal lines on each line of the X and on each side but in the opposite direction. And the lines that form the cross, we're going to apply three dots with a dotting tool. To add more detail, we are going to apply dots in the areas that look sort of empty and we're also going to apply two dots in the long vertical line. After curing, it's time to add a classy touch that so goes with my style. And for this, we're going to use an iridescent silver gel liner, which is actually from the same company and I'm going to see if I can get you guys a discount code on that kit as well. But anyway, let's draw a diagonal line on the middle and index nail near the tip. After having cured under the lamp, we are going to add a white line on each side of the silver line to make it pop. We're also going to be curing these lines under the lamp for about 30 seconds or so. The last little detail that I wanted to add are these tiny AB crystals in the middle of the snowflake and in the middle near the cuticle area on the ring and the thumbnail.
To seal the silver polish, let's apply top coat only to this area of both nails. After curing, we're going to finish off with cuticle oil to hydrate the area and so her hands smell really good. And my loves, this is the final product. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you guys found value in this content, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell. And if you like, you can also check out my website where you can find all my nail products to create stunning nails with me. May God bless you, use you, and I hope you continue enjoying my channel.